Hello friends, welcome to this Smart Excel. This video is all about milestones and how we can achieve milestones. So we have a separate uh, softwares in Microsoft also in projects and other things. But if it's going to be uh, something worth, let's see if you're under your budget to have something which is can be suitable in your build. So we can save a lot of time and energy. In a previous video, I showed you how about to do the counting changes in the next videos i'm going to show you the whole year experience and uh, this is just a recap this is for july to december this is for the whole year so if you want to do something for a year this you can see this year if i want to have changes in this how it does does affect my changes so you can see this the things come on a different channel over here so, so this can be done in various ways for the milestone calculations. So now, so I would like to show you how to do the formula over here. So the formula which I showed you in the previous one was a bit a simple one. So it was just a explanation. So now I'm going to have a, a something similar to one yesterday. So the formula is going to be something in this way. So if you have do this for a year so i'm going to tell you why you want to do this for as a year so if this is a this uh this this is a year based and this is a dates it carries month uh, and day and the year also so excel should be form informed to select the correct topic so it is going to check this as a year only when we use the formula so now let's start the formula. So because the formula is be let me give you a hint and how it's going to work. So it's going to be like uh, it's going to check 2017 is greater or equal to 2012. So definitely it is greater or equal to 2012. So if it is greater or equal to 2012, then I'm going to do is I'm going to get this. 2012 is greater than equal to 2014 and with the help of that we can get the answer and we can make the formula run so equals to if so before if i'm going to just show you how to do simply simple ways like d4 is greater than or equal to G3. So the answer is true. Yeah, it's anyhow, this is the greater than equal, greater than or equal to. So it's greater than. So <clears throat> for D4, as I told you, for these both, I will be using the year formula because it's a, if I don't use the year formula, I'm not going to get the correct answer. So D4 and C4, I'll be using the year formula. So it will be like here and open the parenthesis so this is the serial number and i'll be closing the parenthesis here so now i want to put add a if condition in this and that i'll be having a nested inside the if so if this is a logical test so what i want to get in return is i want to get the answer from here so i'm going to make a if again so if open parenthesis so it will be like g3 will be this area over here is greater than equal to c4 so we told you you should get the year format in this so i can even know what's taking as a whole date so it will be and using this as a year in the parenthesis close the parenthesis okay now for this one for this if condition well if it's true so i'm making this as one and if the value is one i'll be making this as parenthesis double parenthesis and closing the bracket so this is going to be for this now if for this if 
this is value of true and this is so this is logical test and this is value of true but now i want to see for whatever the value is for i can just leave it behind but it's better to close the formula completely so now i want to if i want to push and pull this and as i send references so what i'm going to do is for d4 and c4 it's going to be on a column rise so i'm going to hit f4 one two and three three times and i'm going to do the same for here one two one three but for g3 it's going to move in the to the next rows to the next column so, so this is going to be moving to the next rows so this is for the row rise and this is for the column rise so i'm going to make this f4 i'm going to hit one and two and the same thing i'm going to do i'm going to hit f4 one and two twice so that so now you can see you don't have any answer here because now it's going to be 2014 to 2017 so <clears throat> so when i scroll it down you can see it's going and checking and inside there is coming back with the result so if you can when i keep on pulling down you can see the results so now i have a similar sort of thing in this way so if i if i want to pull this down and i'm going to pull this down and you can see the answers in a different way so it's all the formulas have been taken as per the things so if you want you can check it now if you want to make some changes you can just do that if you want to make this as 2015 so you can see the things are changing here and there but i want to give a color base for this and i want to show this as numbers this is just for my milestones so i'm going to select the whole data i'm going to go to home and i'm going to go to conditional formatting and this i'm going to start with the new rule and i'm going to set format only cell that contains so the value is one so i'll be saying equal to self value and equal to so one so if the self value is equal to one then I'm going to make this fill in a separate base. So it is going to be like this. And uh, I'm going to hit this into OK. Now you can see this is showing a color format. So I'll be selecting the best where it can be hidden. So this is going to be the right one. So this is the way we have created it. Now, if you want to check the formula, we can even, if you have 2014, I'm going to make this into 2012. So you can see this. Now, if you want to make this into 2020, so you can, you can uh, remove the formula and you can add your own formula. So it will be like 15 December, 2020 so you can see now one gets a selection so this is the way we can do a milestone and this milestone will be very applicable and very useful in your long database run so i'll be in the next video i'll be showing you how to do for the days and some more uh, some more best one i'm going to show you how to make this formula for this one so it's a it's condition and how to get the design result on this. So keep watching to my forthcoming videos and if you have any doubts in this, you can give me a comment. Uh, just for the ease of doing this, I showed you in this arrows how to this. If you don't want, you can just delete this. So it's going to start from here to here and they're going to come from back from here to here and then we'll be using a year condition. And it's a nested if so inside if we have a enclosed one more if and we have given a conditional formula it's a very simple one and uh, i don't think many videos are there on youtube i hope you like this video and uh, thanks for watching please give me a please uh, subscribe to my channel please give your comments and uh, 
we share this video so that somebody else can get the benefit of this and uh, apart from that thanks for watching and keep watching waiting for my next video i uh, hope to see you soon thank you very much